Welcome to my ASVAB party people. Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And in this video, we're gonna be going over a practice problem for ASVAB arithmetic reasoning for unit conversions. Now, this seems to be a pretty tough topic for a lot of people, and it's really no surprise because a lot of people end up misunderstanding how to prepare properly for word problems. Remember that word problems are two separate ideas mixed into one. The first part is understanding the keywords and the goals and the setup, and then part two is the actual calculation. So understanding that it's a two-part process, that's gonna help you focus on the growing in one area at a time. So remember that the best way to do that, for those of you that are in my program, is gonna be inside of the arithmetic reasoning course that you get. So just as a quick example, this is a lesson, recorded lesson, of me going through all of these types of problems that you're gonna see me do right now, but you're gonna see all the different types of unit conversion problems that you can see. And with that said, you watch these recordings, you try the problems out yourself, and the great thing is, you know, once you're watching these recordings and getting all the practice, you're gonna see me go through everything with you. All the keywords, the definitions, and I'm gonna walk you through tons and tons and tons of practice. That's how the program helps my students raise their scores and get the jobs they want. It's not gonna be dumb luck, it's not gonna be hoping for the best. We replace that anxiety of, man, my recruiter's having me come in on this day and I'm really nervous. We turn that into actual success that you can measure, that you can guarantee. Yes, I said guarantee. If you go through the program and you reach out to me when you have questions, I'm gonna have your back all the way until you pass and you will. So with that said, if you wanna learn more about the program and sign up for it, it's the most affordable program there is. Go ahead and check the link in the description of this video so you can see the full details and a short little video on how it works and then sign up and then let's get started. So with that said, let's go ahead and tackle this question right over here. So the question reads, hey, a pipe was cut into, don't worry about any of that. Remember that the goal of the question, the first goal for you is to read the question. How long was the pipe before being cut? What does that mean? Well, here's the thing about party people. What we have here, again, how long was the pipe? So we want length, of the pipe but look at the key word here the key word here is before before being cut hmm that's pretty 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 interesting pretty peculiar there because what's happening when we're cutting something up mathematically think about it when we're talking about cutting something up mathematically we're talking about dividing it so Let's go ahead and just understand this. If we're talking about before cutting, we said that cutting is division. So if we wanna know what something was before it got cut, that's the opposite. We're going backwards. That's multiplication. You have to be able to recognize these key words. And again, with the program and in my classes, you'll see exactly how we break this down and get tons of practice to solidify it in your head that way, you're not wondering if this is good. So, with that said, let's go ahead here and let's figure that out. Length of pipe before being cut. Before being cut. And so that means before being divided. Before being divided, again, means multiplication. Here's the information we have to deal with. We have a pipe was cut into three equal pieces where each piece measured one foot and six inches. So again, after, so here's the information we have. After the division, after being cut, you get one foot six inches. That's what you get when you divide it. So now if we're gonna see what it was before the division, we have to work backwards. So what we're doing is we're gonna take that one foot six inches and we will multiply that by three. We're working backwards. Again, that's the connection. We're looking to see what happened before it got cut. If you're looking to see before a division, you are multiplying to get back there. Opposite operations. So let's get it done. One foot six inches times three. How do we do that? There's actually a few different ways. One way, which is the slower way, you could turn this all into inches, then multiply by three, and then put it back as feet and inches. But that's a lot of converting to do, right? That's a lot of converting to do. 
My suggestion, a little faster, it's gonna be this. My suggestion is go ahead and just take your feet, multiply it by three, your inches, multiply it by three. That's the distributive property. A foot and six inches multiplied by three is multiplying the foot by six, inches by six. And that's what you see right here. So this gets it done a little faster because what you'll see now is you'll have one foot times three is three feet. And then you have six inches times three, that's 18 inches. We run into one minor little issue that we can definitely fix right here, right now, no problem at all. And what that little issue is, is this. It's gonna be that you have 18 inches. Typically, we don't say, hey, we have uh, three feet and 18 inches here. We don't really say that, no. What we say is, you know, blank feet, blank inches, where the inches is less than 12. Because remember, at 12 inches, that's another foot. So you need to convert. So here's how we're gonna do that. 18 inches, remember that 18 inches is the same thing as 12 inches and six inches. Now, why did I choose 12? I chose 12 because again, this is gonna be one foot. That's a foot. And since you already have three feet there and one foot there, that's gonna be now four feet. So we have four feet here, and then we have the remaining six inches. So you see how I split that up to get that conversion done? There's, a, there's more than one way to do conversions. All conversions are, are grouping and breaking up. That's all it is. And if you understand that main idea, you can play around with it however you want. And so there's your answer. Four feet, six inches, that will be our final answer. And we can see that the answer choice that's correct here in this problem will be answer choice A, four feet and six inches. And so with that said, my math party people, my ASVAB party people, if you enjoyed this video, please do me and yourself a favor by checking out our full website. We have a ton of free resources and a program that helps our students raise their scores and get the jobs they want. So if you want to get rid of the ASVAB test anxiety, blanking out on word problems and hoping for the best, then check out the video of the program and see if it works for you. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to me. My phone number is right here, 567 698-8867. That is my phone number. I also have, a, a, I think a little button right here. Yeah, there we go. You can go ahead and text me right there, 567-698-8867. Nice and easy, my part of people. There it is. Seriously, reach out to me. Say that you just watched the video on YouTube and you're looking for more ASVAB help, and I'm more than happy to help you get the job done. But once again, my party people, I'm Coach Anderson. I really hope this video helped you. So go ahead and like the video, comment on it, then reach out to me for more. I got your back and I'll see you in the next video. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.